Hey guys, welcome back. This is Crystal with Emerson Aurora Design, and today I'm going to show you how I made my version of the Unicorn Blast Tumbler. I'm calling it the Rainbow Unicorn. So I'm making a, um, this is a 12 ounce modern curve from Stainless Depot that I prepped, spray painted white. I'm going to use these different colors. I have like a baby pink, a yellow, baby blue, light purple, white, and I'm going to use coordinating colors of glitter. I can list the glitters in the description box below if you're interested. So I'm going to use the tacket over and over on this cup um, to apply the glitters. But first I'm going to apply my paints. These are just acrylic paints that I purchased um, probably at Michael's or Joann's. Any color, any brand you can use. So I'm going to do this in a brush. Um, I like to make it look like it still has brush strokes. So I'm not going to go completely to the top and bottom. You'll see me do this here. And just like always, I like to go in like a swirling sweep pattern. So I'm just going to brush these on and I'll let you watch the process. So here, as you can see, the, what I meant by leaving a brush stroke um, pattern, it, the ends of the paint is what I want to look like the brush strokes. So they aren't going completely to the end or the bottom. It just has kind of that abstract um, brushing, <laughs> brush strokes, that's all I can explain. So I'm just going to go through and blend those colors a little bit. Um, they don't have to be blended too much. I'm going to actually be putting the glitter on here in a minute. So there's what it looks like after it's dried. And I'm going to go in with some Tacket and apply that glitter. Um, I believe that I just, yes. You don't have to water down your Tacket. Um, you can brush it directly on your cup and um, spread it on. That's fine. Tacket is pretty thick though and it's sometimes hard to find. So sometimes I water down my tacket just to allow it um, to last me a little longer. But this time I just decided to spread it on there. So you can do it either way. It's not necessary to water down your tacket. So this is the first layer of tacket and glitter that I'm going to use. So I'm not go painting the glue all the way to the white spots yet. Um, I, I'm going to end up putting some white glitter on the top and bottom here soon. But for right now, I don't want that colored glitter to go to the ends and go over top, go past where the paint is, if that makes any sense. So here, as you can see, I'm just sprinkling the glitters with the corresponding color, paint color um, and just allowing it to just flow on there. I'm going to burnish it down here in a little while. I'm going to get all my colors on first because I'm okay if they blend a little bit. I'll list all these glitters um, below if anyone's interested. There's some really pretty pastel colors available and I use multiple different um, brands. I like to support small business so I end up buying a little here, a little there. Um, and then, you know, whatever strikes my fancy at the moment. <laughs>
there's something so dissatisfying about burnishing down your glitter flat. Um, you can really burnish down any glitter. You can use any glitter with Tacket. Fine glitters cover better than chunky or chunky mixes though. So if you are going to burnish down chunky mixes or chunky, um, you're going to have to do multiple layers. And you see how pretty that looks. Some of these are holographic, some of them are metallic. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, now I'm going to paint on more of the tacket. I'm going to actually do the whole cup this time, including those white spots, because I'm going to add the white glitter over top, and I'm going to do a second layer of the rainbow colors. So the way that this is different than the um, classic unicorn uh, burst tumbler is that usually you will paint the rainbow acrylic paint and then put a white holographic glitter over the colors and it kind of mutes down those colors. But with this cup I wanted it, the colors to be brighter and that's why I used the corresponding colored glitter over the paint. But here I'm going to go ahead and put some white holographic fine glitter on those white areas. Um, actually, right now I'm just doing the second layer of the rainbow, and then I'll go back in with the white and fill in those white spots. You can do this either way. You can use the colored glitter, or you can do the cheap method glitter. Um, the cheap method is painting your cup and then putting the holographic over, because that holographic um, is semi-transparent and will show the colors underneath, and it gives really pretty effect. I was just trying to do something different with this. I always try to step out of the norm and um, try not to copy what everyone's doing. But um, just I hope you like the process. <laughs> if you have any questions, let me know and I will do my best to answer them. So here's my white holographic, it's called opal glitter. I'm putting it right over the um, white areas on the cup and letting it kind of fade up into the colors. Um, that way it, it has a good blend to it. And I'm doing this all before I burnish this down because I want them to um, blend a little bit. So all the blended colors look pretty good and that's the look I was going for. You can see those brush stroke um, patterns of the paint underneath. Uh, just reminds me of um, paintings that I like to do. And there it is, real pretty. Now I have it on the turner. I'm going to put my first um, layer of resin over to protect that glitter. I don't spray my cup. My glitters, I don't, you don't have to spray this um, to lock those glitters in before you resin. Um, if you want to, you can, but I was fine if the glitters kind of blend with each other. When, to be honest, when you use Tacket method, the glitters are so, they're so flat that they shouldn't migrate. But if you're worried about the colors migrating, you can go ahead and spray with a clear, um, clear uh, spray paint sealer before this step. Um, I just choose not to. I don't feel like it needs it and it turns out just fine. I always hit my resin with my little kitchen torch to pop any bubbles. And so now that resin is completely cured, you can see my dog in the background. <laughs> I'm going to use the Dawn dish soap um, method here to create a barrier 
in an oval shape. Um, what I'm tr doing is spraying it around and I'm going to take my matte spray and just spray one little area white where I'm going to put my um, water slide decal. And you see there, um, it didn't, um, the paint wasn't as opaque as I wanted it. So you can go ahead and um, repeat this. It isn't gonna hurt if it, the cup's still wet. Um, the spray paint will still take. So I'll go ahead and do a second coat and it's a, better than I um, originally did. You can see there. And then I'm going, I still wasn't completely satisfied. I wanted more opaque white there. So I'm just gonna go in and put a little burst of white spray paint over that. You can still see the bubble effect of the Dawn dish soap on the edges um, and that's fine. And um, after that's dry, I'm bringing it back in. It did have some overspray. So just take a little acetone and paper towel or coffee filter and wipe that off. Um, the acetone will take that completely off. So be careful. You don't want to wipe off any paint areas that you want to stay there. I'm just cleaning up the bottom. I like that glitter to show through. I need a white area here to lay my water. I'm using a clear water slide decal. And <clears throat> you can see it better. And details of the water slide better um, against a white backdrop. So I kind of liked this um, splattered effect as a backdrop for the water slide. And here I'm just taking a little bit of rubbing alcohol and going over the edges of that paint more to just kind of lighten it up a little bit. It isn't going to take that paint completely off because I'm not rubbing it uh, really hard. It's just going to kind of show that bubble effect a little better. So just be careful. Um, you don't want to take off too much if you're not anticipating that. Um, <laughs> I guess so you can always go back out and respray it with the Dawn Dish Soap and the spray paint if you make a mistake. So it's all good. So here's my cup. I'm going to uh, apply the water slide. And this is a cute little water unicorn water slide that I purchased um, a file on Etsy. I can leave her shop in the description below if you're interested. It looks like a little watercolor unicorn. So sweet with the pretty little flowers. And it says stay magical. I did spray paint or um, apply the clear Rust-Oleum um, spray to this to seal in the colors of the water slide. Um, if you have any questions about water slide, I can make a video of that. Just let me know if you need a water slide video. But I'm going to cut one of these out. I'm just using one little, little unicorn guy. And I'm just going to cut around the image. It doesn't have to be exactly a, uh, an exact cutout. I'm just going around to get it as close as I can. This is clear water slide, so you won't be able to see the edge once I'm finished with it. So if, you've not, if you're new to water slide, or if you've never done water slide before, um, I like to put my little image down face first. It just, I don't know, it seems like it doesn't curl up as easily. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of water on my cup. Um, so that way when I apply that water slide, it can slide a little bit. I'm just gonna soak that little image until it starts sliding like that. And then I'm going to just slide, slide her right on. I have my um, silicone makeup brush there. I'm just going to brush out any bubbles that may be under that water slide and to lay the water slide flat. As long as the water slide's wet, you can um, move it a little bit. Just be careful. Um, these are really thin and they can tear. And then I'm, the reason why I'm wetting the paper towel to blot it. Um, so that the water slide doesn't stick to it and then the, the dry part of it will also um, pull up any water bubbles. So I'm going to just kind of push out those air pockets and try to make sure my water slide is flat. And I'm going to let this dry here for um, about an hour. So I wanted this water slide to be a little bit uh, more pronounced. It looks like almost like a colored pencil drawing and I just wanted it to be a little bit darker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a double water slide. So basically, I'm going to cut it out exactly like I did the first one. 
I'm going to wet it down and apply it right directly over that first water slide. You want to make sure that first water slide is completely dry before you do this. Um, reasons why you may want to do this, um, it does, if your um, water slide, maybe some of the colors um, wiped off when you were wiping it with a paper towel or the, the image just isn't pronounced enough, um, you can add a second decal over the first to uh, make it brighter. Um, you, this one was a little tricky though. It's a pretty detailed image. So it took me a little bit to try to make it completely um, line up and um, it made me feel like I was seeing double there for a few minutes. So I'll just let you see how I do that. Little part of the tail there curled under. So you can just take some water and gently tug it back down. I'm trying not to let this, in. once I had it in place and it was lined up with the bottom one, I was really trying not to move it around too much. So you have to be really careful when you're wiping it off with the silicone brush or the paper towel because the image still can move. It can also stretch, so you need to be really careful if you're going to do this. Um, So once that dries completely, I'm going to put my um, next layer of resin on. I am going to add a layer of clear resin to cover the decal and I'm going to add some sparkle. I need more bling in my life. I love glitter, you know that. On these little cups I like to use a little sprinkling of chunky. Um, similar with the unicorn blast that people like to do, they put their chunky in the middle. I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it over the cup wherever I feel like it. These are different, um, pretty holographic and um, just uh, chameleon almost color shift glitters. I'm going to, I can list those glitters in the description below too. They're really pretty. It's hard to see them there when I held them up to the camera, but you'll see them closer up later when I show you the cup. I'm just going to sprinkle them around with my fingers. Um, I don't want too much. I didn't, I didn't want the glitter to get on the little unicorn. I think this cup turned out so sweet and I actually am going to give it to my little one Emerson who is one of my namesakes from my company, Emerson Aurora Design. She asked me specifically for a unicorn cup with rainbow, so this is her cup. I want to say thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate it. I hope you learned something new today, and I hope I can inspire you all to step out of the box, you know, come up with ideas, do your own twist on it. It's okay. Um, this is art, and it's beautiful. Here it is. It, it turned out so gorgeous. I did put another layer of resin over that chunky glitter, so it is sealed in, um, and it's nice and smooth and shiny now. Isn't that cute little water slide just so sweet? Perfect for a little four-year-old. <laughs> Thank you so much again, and if you like my video, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like. If you have any questions, set, um, just put them in the description box below, and I'll do my best to answer. Stay crafty, everyone. Have a blessed day, and I hope to see you next time.